smile. Pose. Act excited. Hi, Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm here with Andrea Hi. who's come over for the weekend and we have been doing a little bit of shopping yes. so we thought we would show you what we've bought. Disclaimer, I keep throwing on disclaimers in my videos, um, I bought quite a lot of stuff um, in on sale kind of before <laughs> Andrea came over so I've got a lot more stuff than she does but we're going to show it anyway. Yeah. So Andrea can model, she's been my model. Um, so Tanya Burr came out with a new line of cosmetics and her old line were very cheap on Superdrug. So the lip glosses. So I was trying to get them all. The yeah, front, so they I were all quite. down to £1.50. They're sold out now though, so sorry. But I got, I think I got Aphrodite, a Mistletoe Kisses, Sparkling Dew Drops and Berry Picking off the top of my head. That would have been yes. well remembered. So yeah. And then also in the sale, oh sugar. Don't wanna do that while I pick this up. Oh, I keep dropping things. So these are the everyday flutter. They're just little corner lashes and they were down to 150 as well. So, so. they're just And then also I think for one pound fifty each. Do you want to hold up one and I'll hold up the other? Um, were these two three packs of nail polishes? And of course I need more nail polish, like I need a hole in my head, but <laughs> hey ho. Um this is I don't know what the collections are called. They do here. have names but I can't remember. I think this might have been Christmas one and that might have been like the Valentine's one or something like that, but they're really pretty. pretty. Yeah. It's the middle ones are heart. like, yeah, that's heart glitter and this is just like sequiny glitter. Um, and then, because the new collection launched, Feel Unique um, had it on and I think they made a bit of a mistake or it was an introductory offer. Either way, the offer wasn't there the next day. <laughs> um, but the lip gloss, this new packaging, um, so it's like nice gold packaging, mm. which I haven't opened yet, so if you compare it to the old style. So. It looks like there's more product in it, but I don't know whether that's just like extra packaging. Um, but they are normally $5.99 and they were on for £2.80. So I thought I'd pick up this one is I Found Nemo. Um, and then the eyebrow palette. Um, was on for £2.80 or £2.30, one of them was the other way about and that was normally £7 and yes. I think it's pretty cool. Very cute, yes, it has the three colours and then the highlighter. Yeah, so it'd be good for me because I like to change up you know, the colours of my brows, sometimes I like to have it lighter if my hair is lighter and darker if it's darker and sometimes I like to put kind of multi-tonal eyebrows if I can be bothered. <laughs> And then the last thing from Tanya Burr I got was the um, little eyeshadow palette. Packaging is really cute. It is really well. cute, yeah. Um, that is six pounds. Um, that one is, I think, the Hollywood one, um, and it's yes. just got neutral colours in it. And then the last two things I got without Andrea were my Nivea Express Hydration Primer, which you'll have heard me talk about loads. <laughs> um, and basically I couldn't find this version, which is the oh, not, the normal skin. Um, I kept finding the dry skin one. Um, and then I saw this on Superdrug for, I think it was half price. And I decided I would get two of them because they are my holy grail primer. Um, so that was everything I got on my own. Um, so next we went into Kegel. Andrea had to laser Kegel virginity because you know it's a rite of passage for lights. Um, and what I did you got get? two lip pencils, so I haven't actually opened them yet. One is 706, one is 707, so I'll just show you the kind of colours you can see at the ends there. One's quite a red, and one's a kind of nudish pink. So I'm not really a lip liner fan until I got these. <laughs> Those are the smart lip pencils. Um, you tried mine out, didn't you? Yes. Last night. Smart lip. Yeah. I've been raving about lip liner for how long? Like ages now because it's so handy for like traveling and stuff if you're only taking hand luggage um, because you don't have to put it in your liquids. So and yes. you can just color in all your lip with it and if you 
take like a, a lip balm, you can make like a glossy lipstick or a lip yes. glossy, but mm. it's just handy, I think. So I need it not buy any more Kegel because <laughs> I have a ton of it. But on every time I film this is siren. Every time without fail, I swear to god, that's just ridiculous. Anyway, um, on my kind of wish list or I want list has been blue mascara for ages. Now this isn't really the colour of blue that I wanted, um, but it was the kind of vibrancy. Andrea's a bit scared of this, aren't you? It's very blue. It's very blue. <laughs> you can see against my hand. But um, I only want it for the bottom lashes to kind of, you know, brighten up a... Uh, Look. And the next thing from Kegel, slash last thing from Kegel, um, is this double deco blush. The packaging I thought was really cute, um, and it was half price, so it was like £3 something. Um, it's the corally one, so it's got like a pink and an orange, so you can swirl it together or you can use it separately. It seems to be quite silky, um, it's not like shimmery, it seems matte. Yeah, it's pretty matte. Yeah, so... Um, It'd be nice, you know, if you want to go a full out with your highlighter to wear a matte, matte blush, I think. Um, so yeah, and it feels nice. And is that weird? Just, it just nice. feels nice. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> um, so that was everything from Kiko. Um, and then we're on to Primark. Now, I think the only accessory thing we got that wasn't yes. beauty related. No, I didn't get any. Um, was this bag and it was £5 on sale from £9. Um, oh, it does say Match and Purse available. And yeah, the Match and Purse was tenner. Yeah, because the purse was. Yeah, it was this season and this is last season. But I thought it was actually like the kind of colours that are in for yeah. the bottom anyway, you know, that 70s kind of thing. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm mental, but it looks like a satchel kind of it's bag. Really and I really liked it and I don't have a tan colour bag. It's a size. Really sometimes you can do yeah. a massive bag or else Yeah. It's, it's good tiny. for like day to night. Yeah. So like you can still take it to work but if you're going out for drinks or something after. You don't have a massive yeah, bag. Yeah, to lug about with you. Got this egg makeup sponge. Like a dupe for the beauty blender. So I've actually heard good things about this. Yeah, is it Siobhan from uh, Let's Make Up, uh, another Irish YouTuber, uh, was, I think she was talking about this. Um, it does, the pink comes out of it though, uh, but she said it was a decent one for the price, so. What is that at all? £1.50, bargain. I think you got the same as vape plus four. Yeah, probs. Um, Did you get the brownie one? Oh, maybe, have you I didn't get that one! Oh! <gasps> What colour, what number was that? Nine. OMG, I'm so annoyed. Let me open it. Sorry. I'm having a moment. So it's like a purple eye. Like a bear eye, is it? I don't know if that would suit me, in fairness, but I still wanted them all. I got three lip liners. Again, for me, not being that big a fan of lip liners. They're only a pound. They're though. only a pound, so I'll do my three that I got. And then I got two of the same as hers. So, so I got numbers three, nine, and one. Oh, sugar. Through eight over and six. One and eight are very similar. So those are the three colours that I got. Another, yes, yeah, so that's kind of a berry ish purpley and Very nude, cool and then a red. Um, and I got number eight, which is like a pinky yeah. nude. Oh no, it's like a. Oh no, it's nice. Peachy nude, is it? Um, this one's like a brownie. Um, I tried Mac Chicory um, on with a nude lipstick the other day and I was just wondering whether this is similar but I don't know. That's number 10, that was number 8 and then the bright pink was number 2. Um, and they're quite creamy and stuff so yeah, they, do. They, they feel decent. The so same. then also got the Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon. So nude. 
Yes, so it just says nude, I don't know, it doesn't seem to have a number. So You're I was it. actually, yeah, I'm actually wearing it now. I actually tried this, I put it on last night. Did it stay on well though? It stayed on okay, but we were drinking. A, bit, a wee bit. A wee bit. Just so, yeah, if you're drinking a um, And sticking with the lip theme, I tried the, I haven't tried it yet actually, um, the PS Love Matte Long Last Lipstick in, I think it's Pink Fizz. Haven't opened it yet, but I'm going to be trying some of the makeup out, I think. I don't know whether I'll do a swatch post or a video, but let me know in the comments if you want to see or what you want to what you want to see. Um, and for nails, I got the nail polish twist pot because I had the bourgeois one of this, and I wasn't really that big a fan. Um, and it was like five or six pound, and this is a pound, so I thought I would try it okay. and see if it's any better, any worse whatever and I got the nail polish fast dry spray because I cannot find my fast dry top coat and I couldn't find one yesterday in the couple of shops that we went into so I thought I would try this um it smells like hairspray and it's a bit oily so and so we'll see and what's your last one then so my last is some eyelashes so these are the Kiss I am the Diva eyelashes. Such a, such a diva. <laughs> so yeah, so I kind of go through phases of wearing eyelashes and not wearing eyelashes. I'm currently in a not really wearing eyelashes phase, but I saw lashes. these lashes. Such a male lash. Anybody from Belfast or no, no, sorry. Um, <laughs> these lashes. There we go. Um, so I kind of just thought, well, they're only three pounds as opposed to most of them being about five, six pounds. So I might try these tonight, give them a go, see how they are. And the last couple of things I've got, uh, first one, first of the last, the penultimate, um, is this facial cleansing pad. Um, I have seen people use stuff like this um, and it sticks to your bathroom tiles as well. Oh yeah. That's fine. So that'd be handy. Um, just because. And then the last thing I got was this uh, makeup fixing spray um, for two pounds. And I haven't tried this out yet either. It's like an aerosol, which I find quite whoa strange. And um, that's very wet. It kind of smells like hairspray as well, but like fruit. Oh, it's pretty. Mm. Be high off this in a second. <laughs> Huff and makeup setting spray. Um, and I like setting sprays for if you are going out after work and you want to put your makeup on in the morning and not have to do too much extra mm. because the Urban Decay All Nighter, holy grail, uh, but it's expensive. So I wanted to see if this did anything close to it. So that's everything. Um, mm. Quite a lot. But yeah, so probably a lot we, did, we did some damage. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed the haul. Uh, let us know in the comments um, if you've tried any of this makeup or accessories or whatever and what you thought of them. Um, and also let me know, like I say, if you want to see any reviews and stuff like that. Um, if you have enjoyed it, what do they need to do? Like. Give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, hit subscribe. Bye! Bye.